Hey guys, it's Lyros 300,000 here. Um, well, this is my review on the Beyblade Metal Fusion Collector's Edition Counter Leon version. Since I'm guessing that all three Collector's Edition are the same version, um, I'll only do one review. Or actually the same game, with um, a different storyline. So here's the box. Watch my unboxing video of Counter Leon and the game. Counter Leon is in my other channel, and um, the game's unboxing, including the Wii unboxing, is in this channel. So let's get started. Here's a nice um, page, not page, um, start screen. So we here we have the logo and Jenga with Pegasus symbol saying touch the screen. Okay. Okay, over here it says select the slot or delete data. Beyblade Metal Fusion. So I already have one, so let's click on load. Okay, and right here we have this nice graffiti looking of Beyblade Metal Fusion and all the symbols. So attack, defense, stamina, and balance. Um. Over here we have the three main intro, I mean the three uh, menu. You can battle, which you need to use Wi-Fi connection for that. You can use the big garage to modify, check out the gallery, um, check out the uh, status for your microphone for level 1, 2, 3, and 4. By the way, number 4 is the best. Use that and you won't have to shout all the time. And the shop. And then we have story mode. So over here we have um, how to play, connect to the Wii, and the passwords. I just finished connecting to the Wii and I got a special character. Uh, no. Okay, so the way um, that you play this game. Uh, for you to actually beat the game, you have to play each and every single character's story mode. So, the first two people that you start with is Jenga. Okay, I just, I already finished Jenga's story mode. I don't know what it says. Oh, right, right, right. Um, I customized Pegasus so he'd be a balanced type. And there's his character symbol. So far, I only have these that you guys are seeing right now. And the second character that starts in the game with Jenga is Nemia. Or for the Counter Leon, Takuru for Bakushan Susano, and Sora for um, the uh, Cyber Pegasus. So over here we have Nemia. Counter Leon's symbol. And see, um, that's his character's name, not him, his Beyblade's name, Nemia. His name has an M instead of an N. And the reason why he's a balance, not defense, is because I also customized it. So that that way he get um even amount of all three um, experience points. Um, I also have Subasa. Which I just unlocked, but this isn't that special character. Well, yeah, that's no, no. So there's Subasa. Let's click on him again. There he is, and his partner symbol Eagle. Subasa. Um. Then we have this guy who's third to last, one of the third to last bosses. In Menya's and Sora and um, Jenga's story, so he's pretty weird. He has a pink afro, and his Beyblade symbol is sort of strange. Ages, something like that. Okay. Oh, never mind. This is the um, character's name, so that means that his name is actually Nemia, not Menya. 
Okay, and the secret character that I got so far from the Wii version is Bee Killer. So once you connect them up on um, the DS version and the Wii version, by the way, to connect the um, to connect them, you have to beat at least one story mode, either Jenga's or Namia's, and then you start unlocking characters. So there he is. Here is his partner symbol, Surf Serpenter, something like that. There's his name, B Killer, rank B. Um, I'll get into um gameplay in a little bit. Let's go on to sorry, uh, Bay Garage. So as you can see, I already made two types. You can create six Beyblades in all, and I already created two. So we click on mod, which is modification, I think. And then we have all the parts. So let's just go into a slot right here. That doesn't have one. And nothing. So we click on this. And then we can see the face. And it goes on like that until you figure out what Beyblade you want. Ah, uh, hold on. Come up, Rose. Alright, um... Other than that, that's just it about the character customization. Um, shop. Let's check out shop. So in shop mode, we have buy, sell, and modification. It also shows how many faces, rings, wheel, track, and performance steps you have. So, out of 200 parts in all, I only have 15. Wow, that's a lot of parts, a lot of combos to do. So you can buy, sell, and modification. Um, okay, now let's get on to the uh, story mode. Uh, yeah, so, the way that you say this is, um, you play throughout the character's story, and when you want to, uh, hold on, let me show you. So here is the map, and it's sort of like the back of gun game, in a way, and this is where you're supposed to go. For you to actually save where you are, you have to click on back, and it will save. And once you go back to the character selection, it will go straight to um, Subas asking if you want to load his file. So, let me just show you a quick battle. So the first person in Subasa's story is Benkei. There's Subasa And Eagle. Okay. Um, special moves I'm using and the set bay first. So here we go. There is all the character stats. Okay, so it's very simple. All you really have to do is just touch this. And when it says let it rip over there. It will show a little animation here. So here's Subasa. Okay. Let that go away. So you just flick your um, stylus the direction where you want to go. If you want to guard, you click on your bay and he'll start guarding. Um, go. Hello, go. Ah, never mind. Um, so it looks like I just lost. Um, sleep out means you lost normally um stadium which will give you one point a stadium out will give you two points and a finisher with a special move will give you three points so let's start battling again and um you can also recover do so many things um so look up there okay um, and it's very simple really. The last boss really got on my nerves. 
there's all my things and spirit. Alright, now I can use this special move. Sorry for the quality. It's because it's too bright in my room right now. And you can always do it like a special move or something. Um, the game is pretty fun actually. Um, especially um, throughout the storyline, you will pretty much discover new parts, get new base, and um, also, well, the same thing with the Wii version. Then once you connect them up, you can get new parts, um, secret stuff, and um, yeah. So it's really good if you have both games. And if you hear a licking sound, that's just my dog again. Um, I'm just gonna give up. Benke is actually quite easy. So yeah, my rank is still a C. I'm trying to get, get to a B so I can use this new special move that I unlocked. Um, yeah, um, no, I'm good. Game over. Heroes. No licking. So, other than that, the game is very simple, easy to understand, and extremely nice. I highly recommend if you have a Wii, buy the Wii version, and then the DS version. Um, Cyber Pegasus should be coming here any day now, so you could just watch his unboxing video of the game, and then go to my other channel later on when he comes here, and watch his, the base unboxing. Bakshin Susano should be coming around here around um, Tuesday or Thursday. And um, yeah, that's just it really. Um, same thing, the video game vid unboxing will be on this channel. And the Bay unboxing will be on my next channel. On my new channel, I mean. So um, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll subscribe to you as, as soon as I can. Later.